Okay, so you've done your acid test, you checked it. Okay, our strata fees are pretty reasonable. We looked at them, they make sense. Our increase is 2% this year because we uh, worked on our landscapers or we're going to do landscaping ourselves. And then you turn over to Dylan to finalize the budget. So budget's been prepared, we're happy with it. What's the next steps in the process, logistically? So the Strata Corporation has to give approximately three weeks written notice of an AGM. It's really important that this budget come back to the strata manager through accounting with enough lead time. So on the back end, we're going through the budget and just, just double checking things. Formulas, making sure everything adds correctly. It sounds so simplistic, but I actually saw, um, I actually saw something go this week and I haven't, I've never seen it before, but one of the numbers was included as a text file and not a number. So the formula didn't pick it up. And during the meeting, you can still speak to it and make that change, but it just, it's unfortunate because you spend all this time and hard work in the budget, and it's uh, unfortunate when it's something as simple as that, like uh, 10 numbers don't add to one column. So it's important to give, when you're planning and creating the budget, to, to think about that. Give enough lead time that someone else can check this over for you. The budget package itself, so what's included uh, with respect to financial information in the notice that goes out? The financial statements, so those are financial statements that tie into the budget itself. The proposed budget, so that's a template that we had in earlier slides. That's what we've been working on in building this up. The proposed fee schedule, what owners will actually be paying. The contingency reserve schedule, so that's that rainy day saving fund that Sean discussed. We have to show what the projected ending balance of that CRF is. You probably noticed that in your packages. And then finally, the budget notes. So those are the detailed, robust explanations that on a line by line basis. So owners are seeing that information in advance of the actual AGM. Next slide. So educate homeowners. And I think at this point, Sean and I have both referenced budget notes a number of times. We're both really, really big fans of that. One more time, budget notes. One more time, budget notes. <laughs> um, and really for three, for three general reasons. The first one being it just helps with communication. We talked about when you're going through line by line, you're documenting kind of your thought process, how you came up with this number. So when owners see that, they have a better understanding before they vote at the AGM of how we came up with this figure. Fewer questions, kind of one and the same, right? It prevents going, well, how did you come up with figure X? Why did this increase by this percentage? Now, likely you're still gonna get some of those questions for sure, but the, the goal is fewer of those questions. And then the biggest thing, why, why I personally like it, this budget process, likely council will be working on this for you know, a, a month or, or even longer, potentially. There's a lot of different lines in that budget. And from the duration when you prepare it to when you actually go and speak at your AGM and you're discussing that, it's easy to forget what your own logic was and how you came up with the repairs and maintenance forecast when you've got 50 line items. So it's a nice reference point when you're creating it for yourself when that comes up to explain questions. So then we do in terms of holding information sessions, if you think there's going to be uh, maybe something contentious at the AGM, say a significant or really large strata fee increase or some other kind of contentious topic that that's maybe talked about the AGM. I guess it doesn't even have to be budget related. Sean, is there anything kind of recently you've seen where you hold an information session for? We're just doing a lot more of them. Uh, it's becoming more common if there's something big going on, info session. And I, like I, I passed, a, I had a strata corporation that I managed eight years ago and they had a 77% strata fee increase. They came over from another management company and they are not in great shape. And so we, you know, we had to face the bad situation and you think 77 percent so the people had investors that already rented out their units at a set rate and you know you can't get a significant rental increase so they were actually taking a loss because of the strata fee increase uh, people on tight budgets 77 percent you know it, it was a significant increase so we had an information night and i can tell you <laughs> it was lively there was crying <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was really good. It was really healthy. Everybody sat in a circle and we uh, uh, and people fired off questions and we were there for like three hours. But there's no getting away. The facts were the facts, right? And so we just uh, explained it to them and it was really healthy. Uh, and not everyone left happy that day. But when the AGM was held a month later, uh, it was almost almost unanimous that the, the budget passed. I think there's two people who voted against it. Um, and it, they said it, they just 
couldn't financially afford it. So that's why they voted against it. I understand that their, their situation, but you know, 77% increase and it passed close to unanimously, and that was due to that info session. So if you do have a significant increase, you know, just to have that night where you can just come down and ask budget questions. And sometimes you get questions, you're like, oh, I don't know, I didn't even, I don't know the right. answer to that one. And it gives you time to look it up so that when you do have that AGM and that question does come up, you're like, right, I remember talking to you, Rob, here's the answer for you, right? And so it's just a really good thing if you have a real contentious where you've got a significant increase, you know, you want to talk about, maybe you want to change how you're contributing to CRF. You want to increase your CRF contribution, you've been 10% for the last 10 years, and you want to, council thinks it should increase to 30% or something, or there's a plan to get it to 30%. Our five-year plan is to get it here, and this is how we're going to do it. Have an info night, just explain it, right? Your owners, it's not going to be a hostile environment as long as there's some logic behind it. And I think everyone's going to appreciate having that time to digest it if it's significant.